What's going on guys? It's your boy Bo, back again with a new video and today we are reacting to the fight. As soon as I saw this video, I knew I had to react to it. Because look at the title is Fight Reacts All NBA 2K21 Next Gen Player Ratings Brackets Worst Ever. So I, as soon as I saw the thumbnail, I knew I had to react to it. I knew I had to do this. I know last time Flight reacted to some player ratings, he wasn't a very, very happy man. But yes, let's get into the video. What do you do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight T, stand up! I still ain't sober. It's October. I love that NBA intro. 2K21 action is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys already know, about a year ago, you know what I'm saying, we had some 2K20 ratings come out, and happy. a lot of wannabe basketball fans... You weren't very happy about the lawyer you fought. ...and just high-knowledgeable people thought they knew what they was talking about, and it ended up being... Fly a very high knowledge real person, but they know a lot more than you fly at basketball. When it comes to basketball, you know nothing. You know absolutely rock all. Like my second or first, third, whatever, most like dislike video, all because I spoke my facts. And I'm here to. That was terrible takes, flight. That was terrible facts. And yes, you literally said JJ Reddick is one of the worst shooters of all, one of the biggest busts of all time. Yes. So you guys, today sitting in 2020, I don't give a fuck once again, and I don't care what anybody says. So if this video happens to get hella dislikes, guess what? I don't care. Tell your favorite player to get their skills up. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we have. In so you're saying, telling me that LeBron needs to get his skills up? Okay. NBA 2K21 official next gen player um, ratings that finally released today. Um, Trying to scramble around. I saw LeBron has the highest overall, so that's that's what it should be. That's what it should be, because he is the best player. I know Flight won't agree with that. He will say, oh, "Steph Curry is the best player." But yeah, I bet he will do that once he sees it. He's gonna be so angry. Different channels to see who all had them all jumbled, because some people just had like certain, you know, what I'm saying players. Of course, they only wanted to talk about LeBron and AD, but those are the. To re they they won the championship flight, they won the championship. Of course, uh, of course. Why? Who else are they gonna talk about? Plus, those are two of the best players in the league. Who else are they gonna talk about? They didn't put the rest of the players in there, so I finally found this uh, channel. So shout out to this channel right here. They put it like they put all the uh, the reigns that was released today, um, as of Thursday. Let's check it out. New next Don't get in your feelings if I say whatever I say, bro. And as you can see, we got the king, LeBron James, coming in at 98 That's overall right. in the number Why one are you shaking, spot. Why are you shaking your head, Flight? Why are you shaking your head? Look at Giannis, bro. Look at that. Look at the graphics on this game, though. Sorry if you hear the background noise. It's just the heater. It's a bit cold. And yes, hopefully it doesn't make too much noise if you can hear it. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, the a MVP Kumpo. and Defensive Player of the Year at Whoa, well, where's Curry at, bro? He better be a 99. At 90. Fuck off! Curry's not a 99 overall flight. He's not a 99 overall. He's a 95 overall, what you're about to see. And you're going to be salty as shit. Curry ain't the best player ever flight. Sorry to tell you. Damien is a 95? Damien Where's Curry at? I need to see Curry's rating before I say anything. KD and Kyrie is 90? Oh, right. 95. We have Clay. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, fine. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, Curry, 95. That's where he should be, Flop. That's where he should be. He's not a 99 overall. He's not a 99 overall. How do you have LeBron? How do you have Anthony Davis at a higher rating, bro? Because what? he's had a better season. He had a better season than Gary. He had a better season than Gary. LeBron had a better season than Gary. Who won the championship? The Lakers. And who's in that team? LeBron and AD. Guess where Curry is? Didn't win the championship. Guess how many games Curry played? Not many. 
and then Curry got injured, or it sucks, but not didn't play many games. I see Anthony Davis shit. Sorry about the ad, oh, so fresh, so clean, clean ad. Oh yeah, thanks Optus. How do you have? But look how many ads flies got in this video. Fucking a lot. Holy shit. A cunt pull, a higher rating than Curry. Because Giannis is better than Curry. It's quite obvious why he's a high overall. He's a two-time back-to-back MVP. So of course, Giannis, and a defensive player, of course Giannis is a higher overall than Steph Curry. Of course. Why would he not be a higher overall than Steph Curry? He's a better player in real life. So of course he's going to be a higher overall. And LeBron easily, don't you... How do you have Damian Lillard have a higher rating career? Damian What are you dumb flight? They're both the same overall. How is he a higher overall? <laughs> that makes no sense. How's Damian Lillard higher overall when they're both 95 overalls? That's that does oh, flight, Jesus Christ. That makes no sense. Lillard has his game based off Curry. You guys know Damian Lillard is in my top five, bro, but Lillard is literally Curry's son, bro. He looks up the Curry, he watches his film every single time after. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Damien Little does that for like, I don't think like, Damien Little does that. I don't think he does that whatsoever. Practice and games, bro. How do you have him at the same rating as Curry, bro? Because he's a cover athlete, and Damien Little has been... He played really, really good in the bubble. He played really good in the bubble with Flight. He, that's why he won the bubble MVP. Like averaging like 40 points or something like that, car carrying his team to like the 8th seed or keeping them to that 8th seed, something like that. But then they got lost to the Lakers of 5. So, yeah, Damian Lillard deserves a 95 overall. Fact. The thing that even makes things more sickening, how do you have KD and Curry in the same lane, bro? Like, come on. KD was injured, so of course his overalls do go down. But it's fine. It might go up. Who knows? Who knows? It might go down because ACL injury is, yeah. But I understand what Flight go, is going on about here with them in the same overall. Because KD is much better than Curry. And that's facts. He is. Literally. If you got to pick out a KD, Steph Curry, who are you picking? I'm picking KD easily on my team. I'm picking him instead of first instead of curry kd is seven foot tall can dribble can shoot can do and play defense a lot better than steph curry i'll rather kd than freaking steph curry bro you have harding you know what i'm saying bigger like a better overall than curry because he is better than steph curry he was in he was third place in mvp voting this season. So that's why he's high overall. He's a better player. Lacks in, lacks in the freaking playoffs, but really, he's a good player. Yeah, he's a really good player. LeBron is the highest overall in the game, bro. This just doesn't make any sense. How does it not make any sense? Tell me, Flight. How does it not make any sense? LeBron is the best player. Finished second in MVP for you. Should have won it, but tell me, Floyd, how the hell is LeBron? How does that make no sense? How? LeBron had a very good season. He had a better season than Steph Curry. Literally. So don't tell me how you saying how Steph Curry, how LeBron has a higher overall than Steph Curry. LeBron has always been a better player than Steph Curry, and that's facts. I know in your head, Floyd. Steph Curry is the second greatest player all the time, but it makes absolutely no sense. And you say LeBron's only in the top five, but it's absolutely bullshit. Because he is in everyone's top five, everyone's top three, most likely. If he's not, you're just a hater. But yeah. Once again, bro. Like, it's just sad to see, you know, Ronald and Michael Wayne just suck up these NBA players, bro. They're not sucking off them for like, They're not. They're just upset. Because your boys, Steph Curry isn't the highest overall. What he will never ever be the highest overall ever again in the NBA 2K, and that is facts.
because there's a lot more better players than Steph Curry. You could say Steph Curry is a top five player currently, but right now, maybe. It's very debatable. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just do just. I'm surprised they didn't show Kawhi Lemon, but I haven't seen Kawhi. They might show Kawhi. I have no idea. ASAP Lee gets on his knees, bro. I don't even know if ASAP Lee is a word, bro. But, bro, LeBron being a 98 at, what, 34, 35 years old, bro? He doesn't deserve a 98 overall. Right. He got carried with Anthony. Oh, my God. This fucking thing when people say, he got carried. Shut up. Davis into the finals this year, bro. At most, LeBron, honestly, for his. He fucking won finals MVP, you fucking dumb piece of shit. So you're telling me he got carried. So you're telling me a finals MVP got carried. He got carried. And he, when, who finished second in MVP voting? LeBron James. LeBron James for the second. AD didn't finish in the freaking voting. Yeah, AD was... In the people voted for AD for MVP, but he wasn't a finalist. LeBron was, and he won finals MVP. Age right now should be a 93 overall. Ah, uh, fuck off! Fuck off with your logic flaw. You had no nothing. Really low ball, like high ball side, to be honest with you. If I'm being honest, he deserves a 91 overall, and then if he plays good to this next NBA. What? You're just stupid. Shut up. Even it can go up to a 93, but not no damn 98, bro. Especially higher than Curry, bro. What? He's better than fucking Curry, you dickhead. You know what I'm saying? This is just like, you're talking about a player that's not consistent shooting threes. He's not consistent just jump shooting in general. Oh, my God. So, everything, he's good at everything else, flight. Flight, so you say you need a jump shot. Oh, my fucking God. Because he does have a consistent jump shot is the reason why you yeah, put him 91, 93 overall. Oh my god. He doesn't have consistent defense now that he's getting older. He's. If he saw the way he played defense in the finals, he played pretty good. Flight. You just. Oh my god. If you saw against the Houston series, every time Russell Westbrook went out for a lap, guess who was there blocking his shit? LeBron James. Shut up. Getting more lazy and relying on his teammates to defend and make up for shit defensively, bro. You know, it's just it's just a list goes on and on, bro. It's just, bro, you just really put him higher. You put LeBron higher than Steph Curry, bro. This is just, just disrespectful. This, instantly, I, I stopped taking his rating shit seriously after. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my. I don't know what to say. Uh, then we have I stopped Danny taking it seriously, bro. Coming in at a this is just five overall. This is just inaccurate as heck, bro. Shut up. Inaccurate, bro. Shut up. And then on top of that, let me see. We have you put Clay Thompson at an 89. You put Clay Thompson at an 89. Yeah. You put Kyrie a higher. You put Kyrie a higher rating. Kyrie's better than Clay Thompson. What the fuck? Clay Thompson. Even though Clay Thompson and Kyrie didn't play. Like, Clay Thompson is just more of an imp. Clay Thompson has records that he holds for most three points. That doesn't mean he's a better player overall than Kyrie Irving. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Whatever in a quarter. We haven't seen Kyrie play damn near in two years, bro. Like, what the fuck? Kyrie played this season! What the hell? Flight, did you not pay attention to whatsoever? To the NBA? He played this season. What the fuck are you on about? And I thought you say, or have high knowledgeable. If you have high knowledgeable about basketball, you wouldn't know Kyrie played this season. But no. Kyrie honestly deserves an 85. Like, I'm not oh, even fuck off. Flight, you're just talking shit. You're just chatting shit out of your ass saying this shit. That is just ridiculous. Kyrie deserves an 85 overall. 
How fucking stupid can you be? Be mean, but come on, bro. And then Curry just being at a 95 doesn't even sit right. Just because he sat out one year, you don't drop his overall down, bro. Curry's overall is going to be shot up to about a 97. Oh, uh, like, fuck off. It's not. It's staying around 95 overall. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's, it probably go down. It's not going up. It might go up if he decides to have a good what week or so. Might go up to 96, but fuck, I'm telling you. Stop sucking off Steph Curry. Stop saying he's the best player in the league right now. It's not true. He's just not. Ask everyone else who the best player in the league is. No one is fucking saying Steph Curry. They'll have him in the top five, quite possibly. But the best player, and you say he's the second greatest player of all time, would well, absolutely bullshit. No one needs to put in Steph Curry in their top ten. Apart from you, Flight, he's not a top 10 player of all time, and that's facts. First month of the game, so. We have Clay at 89 overall and Steph at 95, and we have Luka Doncic. What? You got a problem with it? Luka had a good season. What is your problem with this? He had a good fucking season, Flight. This boy, he will be better than Scuff. Your boy Steph Curry, I promise you, he's got to have a better season than Steph Curry. Stop being a fucking hater, Flight. You're just a hater. Stop being a fucking hater. Here's the problem, bro. If you're going to put Curry at a low overall like that, like, why are they putting these new players so high categorized, bro? Like, oh, Luka Donakic is not even a 90 overall dessert. Oh, fuck off, Flight. Fuck up. Fuck off with your fucking logic. It makes no sense. How the fuck does Luka not deserve a 90 overall? Did you not just see what kind of season he had? Did you not just see that? Flight, so you're telling me the, the stats he put up doesn't deserve a 90 overall? Oh my god. Get the fuck out. Bro. He's barely an 85 and up, bro. Oh, like, my yeah, God. He had his good season, but he needs to earn that. Bro. Oh, my God. How do you God. know he's going to play like this this season coming up? A 90. So, for how do you, do you know for, Steph Curry is going to be a 95 overall this season? So, you're saying that he doesn't deserve it. You might as well say Steph Curry, LeBron, and all these don't deserve a 90 overall. They just don't deserve. They deserve to be a 90, 85 overall or downwards. That's your logic flight. So you're telling me that you don't reckon Luka Doncic is going to have as good or even a better season than he did last season. Oh my god. Or, or, uh, bro, a 94 overall was like an Allen Iverson rating back in the day with 2K, bro. Yeah? You don't deserve this, oh, Luka Doncic. No, bro, you are an 86 overall. Oh, get the fuck out, Flight. Flight, you know nothing. You know fucking nothing. Oh, do you know what, Flight? Steph Curry doesn't deserve a 95. He doesn't deserve... He deserves an 86 overall. Shut up! Shut up! Hey. A young bull at 94 overall. Jimmy Butler. Butler of Jimmy is what? a 90 fucking... What? He is two more overalls down from Curry, bro. Now, I understand it's possible he may be related to Michael Jordan, bro, who we found out the other day, but, bro, this isn't it, man. You oh, my God. Did you not... You didn't watch anything you did in the bubble fight. You didn't... Did you not watch the NBA finals? Did you not see the stats up? The stats he was putting up. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This man is pissing me off. You realize that Allen Iverson back in the day was a 93 and 95 all the time in 2Ks. You know what I'm saying? Like up until like the, his last year with the Sixers to the Nuggets and stuff. And even still, Iverson was dead ass in his prime. And 2K gave him like 92s and 93s and 94s. You're putting Butler or Jimmy who was missing layups and an ink his... Oh my fucking fuck! 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 It's early in the morning and I've been pissed off. I've been pissed off. I'm pissed off. Because for his planning shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Listen. I don't know, Flight. I don't know what goes through your head. I don't know what goes through it. I don't know what goes through it. 
when it comes to possible, what the fuck goes through your head? You know nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing about possible. Oh. I was checking if my mic was on still. Oh, I would have been pissed if I was recording this and my microphone wasn't on. But fuck, what the fuck? Jump shoot throughout the playoffs, waking up at 5 a.m. a 93 overall. Two more overalls down from Curry, man. Yeah, he deserves it. He fucking Lakers deserves it. In six at 93 overall, and the Celtics, Jason Tatum at 90. Jalen. This is the only ratings that's actually on point. Damn near. You know what I'm saying? Hell! 88 in my opinion. Yeah. Tatum, his rating is fine right there because he flopped in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Brown at 86 and Kemba Walker at 86. Bro, 88? I thought I said 98. Loki, I'm not even a captain. I'm not even a Phoenix Suns fan. And y'all hold the shit out of Devin Booker, bro. Devin Booker. <laughs> like, Devin Booker played out of his mind this season. He's just on a trash ass Suns team. You Facts. know what I'm saying? The rest of his teammates on the Suns are complete literal nobodies, and it will be no they won't be in the NBA in a year from now. Nah, but you be. gave Devin Booker an 88. That's low key disrespectful, bro. Like, he deserves a 91, if anything. He has, how do you give Devin Booker a lower rating than Jimmy Butler, bro? Be, 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 Jimmy Butler's better than Devin Booker. It's, it's obvious. Jimmy Butler, probably not as good of an offensive player. Maybe he actually might be as good as an offensive player than Devin Booker because of the ways he had. But oh, if you chose who had better offense, you probably go Devin Booker. But then defense, you're picking Jimmy Butler with that. It's not even a, it's not even a debate who has a better defense. Defense out of Devin Booker and Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler it has way better defense than Devin Booker, and that's facts. Oh, Devin Booker is more of an impactful player than Jimmy Butler. Ain't Clearly not. Day, bro. I'm give, I'm taking Devin Booker every single time over Jimmy Butler. So you're just. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry if you can in the background noise, it's the fucking heater. I'm cold. And yeah. The flight, oh my god. Bro. Like, he literally can do everything that Butler tries to do. The only thing B Booker doesn't really have like that is defense. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm blowing past Booker all the time because he's just not at- Shut up, you're not. You're just fucking not, Flight. He's an NBA player. You're a guy that sits on his phone, what, goes, sits- at his, at his desk, sits at home, and tells yourself, I could be every NBA player. No, you fucking could not. You couldn't be a single NBA player. Literally, I watched the video, you say, you wouldn't even record a 1v1 against JJ Redick. You're literally a JJ Redick hater. JJ Redick would smoke you any day of the week. Devin Booker would smoke you. He would... He would smash you. You wouldn't even score a point probably on these NBA players flight. You'd be lucky to score a point. Literally, you lost, got smoked by Mikey Williams. That kid ain't even in the NBA yet. Imagine what would happen if you played against an NBA player. What would happen flight? What would happen? You would get smoked. Let it like that and he's just like, he has that, you know, that just that 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 upper soft body strength is just easy to body him, yeah. But other than that, everything makes up for it, bro. He does not deserve an eighty. He deserves a ninety-one overall, bro. That's you know what fine. I'm saying? I'm You're talking about that. he's just as good as Reggie Miller from shooting a three. You know what I'm saying? He's athletic. He can dribble the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's just disrespectful right here, bro. Just Ronald and Michael Wayne don't know anything about basketball, bro. These devs don't know. You know nothing, flight. I'm sorry to say, you know nothing. Nothing about basketball, bro. Eighty-eight overall, man. Trey. Trey Young is an 88, bro? Like, are we being for real right now, bro? You're giving Butler a Jimmy, Jason Tatum higher overalls than Trey Young, bro. Somebody is impact. Trey Young, once again, this is another player that deserves a 90 up, bro. And you're giving him an 88. This is crazy, Young bro. Also I don't take this game seriously at all, bro. Bulls up there on the charts. Moving on to Donovan Mitchell. Bro, you give Rudy Gobert just the same rating as damn near you give Trey Young and Devin Booker, bro. Rudy Gobert doesn't deserve anything more than a 75. Oh, this shut up. Rudy fuck off. Flight. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Rudy Gobert is never making a Hall of Pro. Oh. I promise you there was literally like three people that are fans of Rudy Gobert in the NBA, bro. 
Donovan Mitchell does not deserve an 80. He deserves a 90. He's the next coming Dwayne Wade. This is just this is really the worst 2K ratings I have ever seen oh in my life. Or this my is worse than 2K20. This is disgusting. Shut this up. Is disgusting. Shut the fuck I mean, up. Oh my god, you you're pissing me off. That got the NBA canceled and changed in the history books in 87 overall, bro. What does he do on the floor? Plays defense. What the fuck in the hell are you fucking on about? When did you do it? For, for, shut up. Shut up. You piss me off. Rudy Gobert, his career high is literally like 22 points, bro. Oh, shut up. 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 Can you, fly? can you just stop talking about basketball forever, please? Like, can you just stop? Anything with basketball, can you not talk about? Anymore, like I'm just being honest, cause you know nothing about basketball. What did you, did you go with Jay on the floor? Plays fucking defense, dickhead. It's like, what do you do on the floor when it comes to basketball? Oh wait, you do nothing because you're fucking trash. And this is the dude that you want to have an 87 overall. Mhm. Mm this is, this is awesome where we're going this year, guys. We go bear at 87, and we have Jamal Murray, man, who just... Respectfully, his rating is low, too. The next coming, Brandon Roy, needs to be nine. Like, how do you have Jamal Murray and Rudy Gobert in the same category? How, bro? How, bro? How, bro? How, bro? How, bro? How, bro? Shut how, bro? up! How, bro? How, bro? Like, I, I, I'm, this is the last time I'm pausing the video, bro, because I'm just had it, bro. This is just no, there's just no hope. I agree, thing. though. Jamal Murray should be higher overall than freaking Rudy Gobert. That's how you say it. I agree with Flight here. Jamal Murray deserves an 88 overall. He should be, because did you not see the first round matchup between him and Donovan Mitchell? Boy, those two were putting up some numbers. Those two should be hot. The same overall. They can't. You can't have Donovan Mitchell overall. One overall. They should be the same overalls. At 88 or 89, who knows? More, bro. There's no hope to 2K anymore, bro. Rudy Gobert has a career, two or three threes in his career, and is the same category overall as Jamal Murray, bro. I don't need to say anything. I don't need to say anything. I don't need to. Last time pause the video, bro. I gave up on this shit. Give up, bro. And last we have the young. Zion is an 86 overall? You. Yes. What's the problem with that? Just, I like Zion. I like Zion. He's flat. You give Rudy Gobert. You give Brown of Jalen. Like the same. You give Butler a Jimmy. You gave Butler a Jimmy a Because Jimmy Butler's better than Zion Williamson. It's not even a fucking question. Fuck's sake, man. Higher overall rating than Zeon Williams. Bro, if I see this Jay Morant nigga higher than Zeon Williamson, bro, I'm clicking off this video, bro. I'm not even gonna look at anybody else, bro. Zeon Williamson is an 86 overall, bro. In my opinion right now, Zeon Williamson is more impactful than LeBron James, bro. Oh, shut the fuck up. No, no, I wanna click off the video. That, what you just said is absolutely fucking bullshit flight. So you're telling me you are pick Zion Williamson is that a LeBron James? And you're telling me LeBron James isn't impactful? Are you fucking stupid? If you put Zion Williamson on the Lakers, the Lakers would have swept everybody in the playoffs. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Flight. Shut the fuck up. No, we would not be... We wouldn't have won the championship if, Sion, if we had Sion instead of LeBron. And that's facts. <sighs> what you're saying is just bullshit, Flight. Right now, Zion Williamson is more impactful than LeBron James right now, bro. And it's just the disrespect factor that you give him an 86 overall. That's just that, bro. I, bro, Ronald, bro, and Michael Wang, bro. You guys are just, just complete dick riders, bro. You guys are literally <laughs> just, just get on your knees for certain NBA players and just no ifs, ands, or buts about it, bro. 
this is just sad at this point. And then on top of that, you don't even give him a proper lineup. Like, who do y'all think y'all are? Like, like clean my man's beard up, bro. Give him a proper edge up. This is Zeon, the great. That's what he fucking has for it. They try and copy what these sex players have. Even though they don't do LeBron James hairline, what's fine, I ain't complaining. But that's what Son has. This goat Williamson we're talking we're talking about a dude that is more impactful than LeBron James rookie season and just so forth with LeBron right now. Alright, Flight. Alright. If you say someone's a more info packed player, we'll see next season where what the standings are. We'll see who has more wins, huh? We'll see who has more wins. We'll see who has more wins. Can you tell me if like, who's gonna have more wins? Who's more of an impact on the team? We'll see. Bro, you give him an 86 overall, bro. bro this is this is insane. This is insane, 86, bro. Man. This is insane. There are a couple this is NBA insane, bro. This is insane, bro. Ratings including Jason Tatum, Paul George, and Jamal Murray. Roll the clip. All right. Not a sis. Because so catching up with clean, friends clean ad. is better without a webcam. <laughs> yeah, ad for helping you pay those bills, bro. Helping you pay those are bills. We high. We are brighter together. So, so, right, so these are so, dudes reacting to the ratings. Uh, Ronald, yeah, of course. Sure, I remember us sitting at that commercial shoot in that RV. Stop cussing, Ronald. Fuck wrong with you. The things that you were gonna do what? to get a ninety in two K. So let's go over that list. Bro, just like look at Ronald, man, just showing off his shoe collection, bro. Like, who do you think you are, bro? You had to put your webcam in that position so you could see how much shoes you got, bro. Okay. Like, you remember what they were? It was four things. Also, I can't with this yep. man, bro. Over bro. 20. Flight, didn't you, like, make a whole video of you showing off all your shoes? Didn't you do that? And didn't back in your old days? You always had a pair of shoes in the background. Am I? Am I? So flight. You can't really go off at um, Ronnie. Sorry about that. Someone decided to call me. <sighs> Hopefully they don't call me again because I'm trying to do something. If they do, I'm gonna pick it up and tell them. Yeah. Over 20, winning championship. Correct. You started as an 85 in 2K20. Uh, do you want to take any guesses on what your rating is? Well, <coughs> made the All-Star game. 24 at night. It went up to 26, 10, and 5 in the playoffs. Should have went to the championship with us. Either or that. Mm -hmm. All NBA. 90, 91. 90, 90, 90 at least. It got to be a 90. All right. Well, here you go. It is a 90. You have made it to the 90 club. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Feel, feel good. Uh, hey, man, I don't even know who has to say, but I'm going to be the first one to say, bro. Jason Tatum just seems like a very cool dude, man, and very humbling and everything, bro. But this dude is just so socially awkward, bro. <laughs> like, fam. Like. You know, you set out a goal, you know, before the season. And once you accomplish that goal, it feels good. And now we're on to, to the next the next market, you know, what we're getting to next. Yeah, so what, what is that next goal? What are you trying to get you ready to next year since you called it this year? I feel like it, it's. It's a, it's a little tougher to move the needle once you get to 90. Yeah, I mean, look, man, I think there's only 14. Okay, let's skip it on to Paul George. Let's skip on to Paul George. Welcome. Don't need to hear this combo. It's that time. Oh, what, what overall Paul George should have? 90. 89 or. I reckon it's going to be 89. Nine, 80 or 90 overall. Paul George, George has braids in. now. George or Paul? Right around the corner. So it's Where's that hang time? Uh, what are your feelings on your rating as we head into 2K21? Uh, you know 
what? That man got no hang time. Just cut your hair, bro. I wouldn't bro. be surprised if I'm a, if I'm a sub 90. Um, I do not know. I'm going to go 88. I mean, man, you nailed it. You were oh. 88. You were 93 to start last year. And I love how people say the Clippers are the better duo. Clearly not anymore. Here, but an 88 is still top 20. And look, man, I don't know if you know this. I don't bro, know realistically, bro, like, that's kind of disrespectful to Paul. James, how? He actually, like, he had his moments, but he's a 90 overall, man. This is just sad. Nah. I did say 90, so I could agree. 89 or 90 overall, but Paul George didn't have a very great season flight. He didn't. That's facts. And bro, did you see just... Crack the badges as much as anyone because you play neighborhood, mm -hmm. but you have... Joke it, or Jamal oh, Murray. Isn't that Jamal Murray? Uh, we already what do you this. think your rating should be? What I think it should be? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we already seen Jamal Murray. He's like... We don't really care about his reaction, man. As usual, man. Just, bro, 2K disappointed once again, bro. Not surprised. As usual, man, comment down below at Shrat 2 next, man, on the road to 3 million milli. These are the worst ratings ever. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to finish off the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Flight. I don't know what goes through your head sometimes, but you try to a lot of shit. Oh, hey, try to Subscribe to Troy Day. What a legend, Flight. But Flight... Please never talk about basketball again. But yeah, guys, I'm going to finish the video. Yeah, guys, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm going to finish off the video here. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button because that means a lot to me. It really does. But yeah, guys, it's been your boy, Bo. <laughs> I'll catch ya. Sorry about the background noise if you hear the heater, as I said. I've been pretty cold. But yeah, guys. It's been your boy, Bo. And I'll catch you in the next one.